President Biden could soon introduce a new refugee program that would allow more than 125,000 refugees who have already been screened and processed to be allowed here into the U.S. Chris Cabrera is the vice president of the National Border Patrol Council. He joins me now. Chris, I, I think this is a good idea. More refugees who have been vetted properly, and it's separate from the asylum program. Um, it seems to be a good deal to me. What do you say? Well, you know, I think if they need to vet them, it needs to be uh, very transparent. People need to know. People yeah. need to know what they're actually doing in it because uh, right now a lot of things are done under the the cloak of darkness and this administration seems to have little or no concern to the average everyday u.s citizen and um they they're not they don't answer to anyone well they're not asking they're not doing anything about the asylum system they're just changing the refugee system and i think that's probably for the better i want you to listen to how the white house responded when asked about a possible terror attack here at home watch this as the person in charge of presenting, uh, preventing a terrorist attack in the homeland, does President Biden think that some of these border crossers could be in the United States right now plotting a terrorist attack? The president's Americans? confident that uh, throughout the interagency, DHS, intelligence community, uh, that we're doing everything we can to be as vigilant as we can uh, to ensure the safety and security of the American people here at home. Well, Chris, I have to tell you that a known Somali terrorist was able to operate freely in America for a year after being mistakenly released. It took authorities a year to realize their mistake and rearrest him. So we do have a terror threat of significance here, don't we? Oh, yes, most definitely. And, and that's just the ones we know about. Those are the ones that, that were apprehended and then released. Imagine the, uh, the thousands upon thousands that get away every single day. Um, we don't know what they're up to, and if we don't learn from our failures, we're, we're doomed to repeat them. Donald Trump promised to begin deporting migrants on day one if he's elected. Roll tape. On day one, I will seal the border and we'll begin the largest domestic deportation operation in the history of our country. <laughs> and if other countries say they won't take them back, we're not going to take them back. I will say that, uh, yeah, here they come. You're just going to hold on, hold on to your britches, because here they come. They're coming back. Really um, deport a million of, or two people? You know, I don't know how that's going to work. You know, I'm, I'm hopeful that he'll find a way to get something done. But I think uh, the, the first step is, is securing that border. Um, if, if you want to uh, reform the system in any way, shape, or form, the first thing you need to do is secure that border. And hopefully we can get that done, get us down to a manageable pace where we can actually uh, get some work done and, and move forward from there. But right now, we're, we're nowhere near the ballpark of, of having a secure border. Chris Cabrera, thanks for joining us. We appreciate it always. Thank you, Chris. Thank Remember you. when 